Greetings and welcome to my channel guys. Today we are doing some downgrading on my board in order to save some weight. Now this is a heck of a board but it's also very very heavy. 30 kilos will not allow me to do any proper jumping whatsoever. So we have to do something about that right? Let me show you what I had in mind. So the goal here is to make the board lighter without sacrificing too much of its power capabilities. I will of course have to put on a smaller battery, but it will still have a really high discharge. So this battery box is about 14 kilos. That's pretty heavy for a battery. And since I've done this plug and play solution, I can easily just remove this battery box, put on a lighter one and then put this on later when I wanna go for long rides. The other thing I'm gonna do is change back to 8 inch tires because these rims and tires combined are about 1 kilo each. That's also very heavy. First things first, we're gonna check the total weight of the board so that I'm just not rambling numbers out of nowhere. I got myself a scale here and some nice crocs. So I'm 95.7 kilos heavy. The board, well, I'm gonna have to try to hold this board and the camera at the same time. Eh, I'm gonna figure this out. I have the board in my hand here. I'm gonna stand on the scale. And that shows me 126.2. So yeah, that's, uh, that's just over 30 kilos right there. 30.6 or something, right? So this is what I bought right there. I got two of these 6S 12 amp hours Turnigy Graphine 15C batteries that I'm gonna hook up in series for 12S. They will still be able to deliver 180 amps according to the stats, so that should be enough. I made this uh, serial connector with the AS150. I also got uh, the 8 inch tires that I normally use uh, in the front wheels. And I got some spare superstars right here. I also bought some hub adapters from Etox so that I don't have to remove the hub adapters from the other wheels every time I change these wheels. So we're gonna hook this up and see what difference it made. Yeah, let's get to work then. First off, obviously gonna remove the battery just to make it easier to work with. Well, it has to come off anyway, so. Put you right there. Here we go. I'm now gonna remove the wheels. See, I do use this Etox uh, truck extensions uh, both in the rear and in the front and this is because otherwise I would not be able to fit the 8100 motors and that means that uh, I cannot use the regular bearings from Trampa I need different uh, size bearings I'm gonna have to get this out of the way be right back so yeah I now got the bearings out of this 10 inch wheel and fit it into the 8 inch. Yeah, just look at the comparison between these two. And uh, this 8 inch is what's uh, normally referred to as a big uh, skateboard wheel. Really need to get some more of these bearings. Now I just need to take the truck extension, I slide it right through here, and then I screw the extension onto the truck axle. Simple as that. Making sure there's no play in there. And then I secure it with the Allen key. 
and this wheel is now hanging in the air. I'm gonna have to do this with the others. So here we go, since I already have the half adapter installed on this rear wheels. It's a very simple install. Well worth the extra money for that one. So the big ass murder bird is now converted to a uh, well still big but not quite as big as murder bird. The 8 inch wheels are on, the battery is here, I will, I will obviously come up with a better K solution than this. Uh, it's what I found and uh, I'm a funky DIY builder so give me a break. It is connected, it is working. Now the combined 520 watt hours of these batteries will probably give me a maximum of 15 kilometers. But that's okay, because it's not for range, it's for fun. I have my big pack if I want range. Now the big question is, how much weight did we save? Let's find out. Yeah, we were previously at 126.2 and now 115.3 so that's almost 11 kilos saved not too bad for a 15 minute uh, conversion so yeah now at 19 kilos the board is still quite heavy but it's it's way more suitable to go try some BMX tracks and such which I haven't really been giving a real shot so far and so stay tuned for some broken bones and bloodiness I guess. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.